KPM. Hi, Tika. Hi, teacher. What are you doing? I'm just doing some online shopping. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I think I want to buy you a new clothes. Really? For yes. me? Yes, okay. Wow. So you can choose the clothes that you want. Okay. Um, I think I've been staring at this laptop for too long, mm. teacher. I don't know how to do it. Okay, mm -hmm. I will teach you to close to choose the clothes. Yay! Okay. okay, I want to learn. So we can do online shopping. Yay! watching Did It TV, KPM with me, Shafika Farahin Razali, your host for the whole one hour. And today we'll be learning about special education or pendidikan khas on Bahasa Inggris. Clothes, like the one I'm wearing, also our teacher today, lovely teacher today wearing for clothes we wear. Thus, today, kids, we also have in the studio with us teacher Lee Seng Kiat, who is the interpreter for today's lesson. She is from Sekolah Kebangsa Apa Dedekan Khas Jalan Peel, Kuala Lumpur. And last but not least, of course, our lovely teacher for today, who's wearing very nicely and very looking very dashing. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, our teacher today is also Nur Shafika Ahmad yeah. from Sekolah Kebangsaan Batu Hampa Kedah teacher. Mm. Welcome to the studio. All right, thank you, Fika. How are you? I'm fine, I'm doing fine. Okay, <laughs> great. To know more about you, maybe perhaps for the kids out there, mm. maybe you can introduce yourself a bit. All right, okay. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Hi, Amna. Hi, Adib. Hi, Fawaz. Okay, my name is Nur Shafika. I am from uh, Sekolah Kebangsaan Batu Hampa and I am a special education teacher, specialties for learning disabilities. Wow, mm. very, very lucky for students out there who are watching. Keep tuning in to today because we're going to learn a lot. But before that, teacher, mm. before we start anything, please, as usual, we have to maintain the SOP. Even yeah. in the studio, I would like to ask you to use the hand sanitizer right. for the safety of our well-being. And also for you out there, please wear your mask always like we're wearing right now. Maintain a social distance of at least one meter between each other. Mm. Wash your hands frequently, <laughs> right, teacher? Yes. And if, if you don't have a water source nearby, use your hand sanitizer. All right, teacher? Mm. Before we go further, as you can see here there's a lot of mystery going on we have a lot of pictures on the table teacher maybe you can tell us a bit about what are we learning today so uh, today mm -hmm. I will I will help uh, Fika to okay. choose the clothes and teach uh, teach student out there mm -hmm. to know more about clothes wow. and I am sure they already know about clothes because we uh, they are wearing a clothes every day mm -hmm. right but uh, in this lesson I will teach you how to no, uh, recognize the clothes and know the name of each clothes and spell it c uh, correctly. Correctly. Yes. Therefore, and also after we've learned all of that, mm -hmm. maybe we can try matching the outfits together, teacher? Yes, of course. Well, I would love to do that and I'm, I'm excited to learn how to do this. But teacher, mm. what is the important uh, part of learning all these words? Why do we have to learn what this is called, what this is called, why? Why is it important? Yeah, because uh, to know the uh, clothes is important. Mm -hmm. If not, they will be... Saying uh, the wrong things, yes, right? Yes, the wrong... Sometimes like, I'm wearing a dress, but no, you're yeah. actually wearing a trousers. Yes, you're right. All right, teacher. So for today, what are you wearing? Can you share with us? Okay, it's actually a blouse uh -huh. and a skirt. Wow. But the design is... Baju kurung. I ah. see. So, baju kurung is actually a combination of the blouse and, and a skirt. skirt. Yes. But what about designs that have a bit of different, like maybe the kebaya? Mm -hmm. Is that also a blouse and a skirt? Yeah, it, it's just a design. Uh -huh. But it made from blouse and skirt. A skirt as well. Yes, so because it separates. 
the separate blouse and skirt. Skirt, I see. But all in all, even though the, the design is different, it is still a blouse because it is what we wear on top mm. and also the skirt at the bottom. Yes. All right, teachers. So today, uh, kids, before we start anything on the title clothes we wear, let's uh, maybe we can start with the first lesson of today, perhaps a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. before we start the lesson, I will take out my... Uh, face mask. Ah, okay, teacher. Yeah. But before that, mm. let's give uh, time for the kids to prepare for today's lesson and we'll go for a short break. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, tune in back to TV KPM and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. KPM. Hey kids, welcome back to Media TV KPM. And today we're learning Bahasa English for special education. And please let we well, let me welcome once again our teacher Lee Seng Kiat from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur. She's our interpreter for today. Thank you, our teacher, for being with us today. And also our teacher, lovely teacher for today, uh, Miss Anur Shafika. Yes, right, same teacher. Name. Yes, <laughs> we're the same names. Uh, you can call me Kat Pika and this one, lovely teacher Shafika. <laughs> right. No, I'm kidding. Okay, teacher, today we're learning about clothes we wear, right? Yes. So how do we start off with this lesson? Okay, we are going to uh, know the clothes for boys uh -huh. and then for the girls. All right, teacher, but before that, please let me uh, tell you, uh, our viewers today, that we're taking off our masks for today's lesson because we want to uh, teach listening and reading the mouth for special education students. Right, teacher? Yes, yes. So for that purpose, we're still maintaining a physical distance of at least one meter, but uh, without our mask for the purpose of today's lesson to learn is important. All right, teacher, please yes. proceed. Okay, mm -hmm. before we start, okay. I want to ask you, Fika, what is the purpose of wearing a cloth? Okay, in my opinion, teacher, I think we need to wear clothes to cover ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then maybe to look nice, like yes, of us course, today. Uh -huh. we are girls, right? We are okay. girls, yeah. Uh, I want to add some more, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, clothes, uh, clothing is actually, we can use to differentiate the gender. Okay. Uh, differentiate the gender, a boy and a girl. So that's why oh. today I'll teach you the basic clothes for boys and huh? girls. Girls, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. teacher. Mm -hmm. Shall we start? Yes, let's start. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one. Okay, look at this. This is clothes for boys. Boy. Okay, clothes for boys. Okay, this is boys and these are three uh, pictures of clothes. Okay, mm -hmm. the first one. The first one is... Uh -huh. What's that, teacher? T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. okay, which one is T-shirt? T-shirt, uh, I think it's the mm, bottom one, the yellow mm. one. Is it right? No. <gasps> it's not. Sorry, okay. Oh. <laughs> t-shirt is actually the purple one. Oh, okay. I see. Ah, okay, this is a T-shirt. Okay. okay, this is a T-shirt. Okay, uh -huh. let's spell T-shirt. Okay. Okay, T-S-H-I-R-T. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, once again. Okay. Can you follow me, okay? All right. T S H I R T T shirt. Okay, this is T shirt. Okay, for okay, our so students out there, don't forget to focus on the movement of the mouth for the purpose of clarity. Right, teacher? Okay, can you find okay. me uh, the T shirt? From this rack. Yeah. Okay, let me do that. Mm -hmm. T shirt. This is not a T shirt. I think it's this green one. Yes, you uh -huh. got it right. Okay. Okay, do you know what is the features of the t-shirt? 
Um, first of all, as I can see from the picture there, mm -hmm. it has short sleeve mm -hmm. and it's just a normal, um, no, it's a simple. Just a plain, a it's simple, a plain. yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. T-shirt is actually, there's no collar, there's just no a round collar. neck oh. and there's no button. I see, ah. teacher. What's the difference? Uh, what is the button and the collar called then? Okay, that's for next one. Okay, okay. we'll wait for that, uh, teacher. All right. Okay. Next one. Okay, you can mm -hmm. hang it put again. It back. Put it back. All put it back. Right. Okay, the next one is the yellow one is shirt. Ah, okay, shirt. the yellow one is shirt. Okay. Shirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Follow me. This is shirt. Shirt. Okay, how to spell shirt? Okay, this is the word. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Okay, let's follow me. Okay. Let's spell together. This is S H I R R T shirts. Okay, once again. One more. All right. Okay. S H I R R T shirt. Shirt. Ah. Okay. okay. This is shirt. So, I will piece it here. Ah, teacher. So that is a shirt, and without the collar and the buttons, is a T-shirt. Yes. Okay. okay but they, uh, over there we have two shirts. Okay. Can you show me? Alright, both of them, yeah, teacher? Yes, both of them. I think it's this one because it has a collar and a button. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm not sure if this is right. Is this correct? Yeah. Yes, correct. Ah. But what is the difference? The difference here, where I can see, obviously, mm -hmm. it's short sleeve. Yes, you got it right, uh -huh. Fika. Okay. okay, thank and you. And one more, mm -hmm. the design as well. Mm -hmm. It's a bit more uh, checkered here, right, yes, teacher? Yes, yes. Okay, ah, and, okay, and the short sleeve? It's more for um, casual. Casual. Yes. Uh, so the design also is uh, suitable to our occasion, right, yes. teacher? Okay. All right. Next. All right. Teacher. And the next one for boys is trousers. Trousers. Okay, trousers. This is a, a picture of clothes for, bo for boys, mm -hmm. and this one is trousers. Trousers. Okay. This is a trousers. Okay, kids. Okay, the words for trousers. Let's spell the trousers. Okay, the first one. T-R-O-U-S-E-R-S. -E -S. Trousers. Okay, kids. Ah. Let's do it one more time and right. do it together, all right? Okay. Okay. T-R-O-U-S-E-R-S. -E -S. Trousers. Okay. Uh, okay, Fika, do you know what is the features of the trousers? What What is actually a trousers? Uh, a trousers is something we wear on the bottom part of mm -hmm. our body and uh, it's uh, comfortable. Yes, and uh -huh. it cover and it your leg separately. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. okay. And it has two holes for the yes. legs. Yes, yeah. Okay, you're right. all okay. right. Settle. Okay, mm -hmm. for boys, and now we are going for girl. Girl. Okay. My favorite part. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, the first one is wow, that's a nice outfit. Yes, nice outfit, and the mm. color is looking good. Yes. Okay. Mm. This one is blouse. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, blouse. How to spell blouse? Okay, this is the word of blouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's spell together. B L O U S. E. e. Blouse. Blouse. Okay, once again. B L O U S E. Blouse. blouse. Ah, okay. okay. This is the blouse. Teacher, I want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed from the blouse it has a collar there. Mm. Can we have a blouse without the collar? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. The blouse is actually a shirt or t shirt for girl. Okay. Okay. But it have a uh, ornament like ruffle, ah. lace, beading, and the color is so nice. sweet with the girl, oh, right? Okay. I see. Yeah. Because girls like all the uh, extra decoration yes, on the, the t-shirt. Bling bling one. Yes, ah. I agree. We are just like that teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. and the next one. Okay, the green one. Okay, we go for the green one. This is a skirt. skirt. Okay, this is a skirt. Okay, how to spell skirt? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the word of skirt. Okay, let's spell S K 
I R T skirt. Okay, once again. Okay. S K I R T skirt. Yes. Hmm. That's a very nice color as well, yes. teacher. Because the girl love color blocking, I think. Ah, <laughs> I agree. And also, teacher, the skirt maybe sometimes it has different length. Yes. Uh huh. The short. Skirt okay. or long skirt? Long skirt. Yes. We have a skirt over there. Yes. Let's pick mm. one. Actually, we just have one or oh, we have Two. a few here. Aha. Uh -huh. So, this is the first one. Yes. And this lovely pink yeah. one. I'm pretty sure all the girls at home are loving this color, of teacher. Course, yeah. So many colors. The tutu skirt. So tutu. nice, right? Yes. It's very nice. This is the tutu as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I no. don't think so. Ah, but it has the same uh, fabric, yes. I think. Ah, okay. All right. So this is a shorter skirt, ah. and this is a bit longer, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. The skirt. Skirt is actually a a clothes that hanging on your waist, mm -hmm. uh, 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 fastened on your waist and hanging on your legs. Legs. Ah, so when a lot of uh, what um. Uh huh. Will the movement. Be, ah, yeah, the movement. Okay. So nice when they are turn around. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that means when you move, it also moves like this. Mm. Ah, okay, teacher. Very nice. Uh huh. And also the colors are a bit different here to show, uh, more maybe nicer movement as mm. well, right, teacher? Yeah. More three D, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, teacher. Okay. And the last one is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dress. 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 Okay. I am sure the girls out there love to wear dress. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, how but how to spell dress? Okay. Okay, this is the word of dress. Okay, let's spell mm -hmm. D R E S S. Dress. Okay. okay, let's do it together once, once again, again. teacher. All right. Okay. D R E S S. Dress. dress. Okay, I put okay. it here. Teacher, just now, mm -hmm. you mentioned about uh, the baju kurung having a blouse and a skirt. Mm. But why is it we don't call it a dress? Okay, mm -hmm. dress, uh, it's actually a cloth that cover your body from upper to down in one piece's garment. Oh, it has to be one piece, yes, yeah? Yes, one piece. Okay, one. teacher. Alright, thank you for that. Uh, what? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Since uh, we've gone through what boys would wear and also girls, maybe we can go uh, uh, go again once yes, again on yes. what we've learned just now. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's repeat again because this is for special education yes. disabilities. Mm -hmm. So we have to do so many repetition. Okay, okay. teacher. Let's okay, do the that. first one for mm -hmm. clothes for boys. Okay, clothes for boys. The first one is T-shirt. All right, T-shirt. This next one is shirt. shirt. Okay, the third one is trousers. Trousers. All right, trousers. Okay. Okay, and then for the girl, mm -hmm. we got blouse. Okay. Skirt okay. and dress. Okay, mm. teacher, we didn't take an example just now. Yeah. Can I show an example of a dress? Sure. Ah, there you go. That means, like you said, what are the char characteristics of the dress again? Okay, it's mm -hmm. cover your body from the upper to down mm -hmm. in one piece. Okay, and also it's longer than a blouse, right, yeah. teacher? It has to be longer, otherwise mm. it doesn't cover the uh, leg. knee, the leg. Uh -huh, yeah. Ah, okay, teacher. And then we also have the blouse, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe and it can mix with the skirt. <gasps> Really? Maybe I'll pick the same color. Yeah. Ah, here you go. So maybe teacher, you can uh, uh, repeat again. What is the characteristic of the blouse? Okay, uh -huh. the blouse. Blouse is actually a shirt or t-shirt that worn by a girl. Okay. The blouse have a ruffle. Okay. Can you see there? Mm -hmm. Okay, ruffle and the color. Uh, and the um, uh, and the embroidery as a yes, decoration. Yeah, so okay. nice. So you can tell this is a girl's shirt, right, yeah. kids? Okay. Boys teacher. don't want uh, to wear that type of clothes. Ah. I think so. Okay, <laughs> teacher, right. So this one goes together because it looks nice together. Yeah. Same color. All right, mm -hmm. teacher. 
Okay, so that means today we've learned just now we've learned about what boys wear and also what girls wear, right, mm. teacher? So for example as well, I'm also wearing a trousers, teacher, mm -hmm. just for the comfort of it. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Okay, uh, where can we see the boys wearing a uh, trousers and shirt? Mm, I think in school, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. In, in school and then maybe sometimes at home yeah. when we're feeling comfortable and just sitting on the sofa watching TV. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay, in the school we can see the school uniform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the school uniform, the uh, shirt that they want is have a collar, collar. and a Button. button yes the button and the trousers and the trousers mm. that means it's a shirt and a trousers yeah okay teacher all right uh before we move on further on how are we gonna maybe match the clothes together mm -hmm. right teacher let's give the students a short break and have a bit of a drink maybe a bite to uh, eat and then we'll be right back on did it tv kpm see you then KPM. Hello and welcome back to Didit TV KPM. You're still with me learning Bahasa Inggris for special education and for your information today in the studio with us also we have teacher Lee Seng Kiat from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur as our interpreter today because we're learning special uh, education for Bahasa Inggris called uh, clothes we wear today and still with us in the studio we have two Shafika me and also Cikgu Shafika. Thank you for joining us today and right Right now, teacher, just now we learned about how to make, uh, how to recognize what boys and girls would usually wear. And right now we're doing the fun part, which yeah. is matching the outfits together, right, teacher? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. So how do we start? Okay. Mm. The first one. Okay, the first one. I want you to pick the picture. Okay. All right. Okay, you pick the student and. Okay, I'll pick this one nearest to me. Yes, uh -huh. and you match with the picture ah i see okay so i think the picture is right there teacher ha ah, okay. is that right laila laila all right okay laila okay mm -hmm. the first one okay, okay. Uh, then i will read the verse right teacher i read the verse okay uh, then you hear the clothes that i say okay okay all right kids please pay attention to this okay. then you take the cloth and paste at the Lila. Ah. Uh, at the picture of Lila. So I will be pasting the clothes there yeah. on Lila's picture. Yeah. Okay, teacher. That's very fun. Let's do it. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. The first one. The verse is Lila mm -hmm. wears a red dress. Okay. okay, once again, I read again. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lila wears a red dress. Okay. So, so I think I will have to pick up the red dress from mm -hmm, there. Yeah. Okay. All right, teacher. Let for that purpose. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, maybe perhaps we can focus on another character first. Is that okay? okay. Perhaps on my side here, closer to me. Uh, let's focus on. Let's see. Ah, mm. Amna. Yes, Amna. The yes. newest one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amna. Okay. okay. Amna mm -hmm. wears a pink blouse okay. and green skirt. Ah. Uh, okay, I repeat again okay. once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen to me. Okay, Amna wears mm -hmm. a pink blouse.
blouse and green skirt. Okay, ah. so which one is it, kids? Mm -hmm. Which one was referring to the sentence that Teacher Shafika spoke just now? Yeah. Okay, so let's get the uh, outfits, right, Teacher? Yeah. Okay, so I'd have to go to the other side, kids, mm -hmm. uh, to get the outfits and then match it there, right, Teacher? Yes. Okay. You got it right. All right. So that means Amna is wearing a. Pink blouse. Is it a pink blouse, teacher? Yes, a pink blouse, a pink blouse and blouse. a green skirt. Okay, so I'll take this out. And then also, kids, a green skirt. Yeah. Alright, so what happens now? I put it Yes, near you Amna. put it on Amna. Okay, teacher. Alright. So she's wearing a very beautiful outfit today, teacher. Ah. Okay, and then a green skirt. Skirt. There you go, teacher. She's looking very nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's nice, Amna. Yes. Okay, the colour is so nice. Okay, the next one. Next one. Can I choose from the pictures? Yes. Okay. Alright, I'll take maybe this one. Ah, maybe this teacher one. can pass me. Okay. Yes, Adib. Okay, so Adib is a boy, right, teacher? Yeah, mm -hmm. the boy. And mm -hmm. I'll read the verse. Okay. okay. Adib wears a purple shirt. Okay. Mm, Adib wears a mm -hmm. purple shirt. Okay. Okay, so? <gasps> so I have to take a purple shirt from that one. Perhaps, teacher, can you help yes, me take it? I will it? help you. Okay. All right. All right. Which one is purple shirt? Which one is the purple one? This one? Or the or left this one. one. I think it's the left one, teacher. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means Adip will be wearing a purple T-shirt. It's a T-shirt, teacher, because it doesn't have a collar and yes. a button, yeah. right? Okay, teacher. Alright, so we are done with Adip. Mm -hmm. And then next? The next one? Mm -hmm. Who do you want to pick? Okay, uh, maybe we can go ahead with Lila. Okay, ah. do you love the outfit of Lila? I do, I <laughs> love the red dress. Okay, for uh -huh. Lila, I think I have to pick and paste it. Paste it. Ah, okay, okay, teacher, yes. Please proceed. By the way, students, for your information, today we are not wearing our mask for just this specific lesson because we are learning for special education. That means uh, we are emphasizing on the movement and reading the mouth. All right, teacher. Okay, so this is a dress. Red dress. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a red dress. So I will paste on Lila's Lila. picture. And now she can go on a date, teacher. Oh, it's nice. Ah. Okay. Is it nice? It's very nice. Mm. Okay. All right. And the last one, teacher. Okay. The last one Who is. Is that? is that? Who is that? Who? Ah. Oh, this is. Dane. Dane. Dane is my friend, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. This is Dane. Okay. okay. Dane. What did he wear? What is he wearing? Okay. Dane wears a blue trousers uh -huh. and yellow shirt. Okay. Mm, Dane wears a blue trousers and yellow shirt. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. So which one is that, teacher? Ah, kids, maybe you can give a guess on the board there. Which okay, one? Okay. This is a yellow sure. shirt, mm -hmm. and this one a blue trousers. trousers. Yes. Okay. okay. So I will paste on Dane. Okay, this is a blue trousers okay. and this is a yellow shirt. Wow, mm. teacher. I love the colour combination. It's yellow and also blue. Looks very yeah. nice, teacher. Okay. okay, we will read again the verse. Yes, let's do that. Okay, the mm -hmm. first one we are... Uh, the, we, are start, we start with Adib. Adib, okay. Okay, the first one is Adib mm -hmm. wears... A purple, purple T-shirt. Okay, once again, Adib, Adib wears a purple T-shirt. Teacher, can I have uh, ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do we say a or uh, do we say a or a? 
a purple a purple t-shirt t-shirt okay teacher all right and then the next one the next one is amna mm -hmm. uh, amna is boy or girl it's a girl all right okay yeah. amna is a girl mm -hmm. so the verse is amna mm -hmm. wears a pink blouse mm -hmm. and green skirt okay one more okay, time one teacher. more time okay. amna, amna wears a pink blouse, blouse and green skirt okay fika can ah. you help me okay okay on the verse all right mm, uh, already have the spell of the words mm -hmm. okay uh, for clothes yes. so i want you to show me which one the uh which the one words with for words? Uh -huh. blouse the word for blouse okay mm. first of all i know blouse is for girls mm -hmm. so i would pick in amna's uh, column so i think it's this one teacher all right ah. okay Okay. okay, good job, Fika. Should I spell it? Yes, I want you to spell it. All right, kids, let's do this together. How do you spell blouse? B L O U S E blouse. Right, teacher? Yes, you okay. got it right. Okay. Right. I want another question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I want you to oh, ask okay. me another question. Okay, yeah. another question. You find me the words of skirt. Skirt is also for girls. Yes. So I think it's this one, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll spell it again. Yes. All right. Uh, S K I R T skirt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Awesome. All okay. right. Okay. Awesome. Skirt. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the features of skirt? The features of a skirt. Mm. It is starting from the waist, mm -hmm. and then it goes down to cover our legs. Yeah. Uh huh. And when you move, it has some sort of movement. Yeah. Ah, uh, to make a girl so pretty. Pretty. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more question. Okay. Why did Adit wear a T-shirt? Is it uh, suitable for a casual mm -hmm. or watching a TV? I think it's suitable, teacher. Why? Because it's very plain mm -hmm. and simple and it feels comfortable to move. Yes, it uh -huh. is because the fabric is cotton. Oh. Ah, the cotton fabric is breathable okay. and it can absorb the sweat. I ah. see. Okay, teacher. Now that we know about Adit and Amna, mm -hmm. let's know more about Laila and Dane, my friend. Okay. Okay. Okay, Laila. Laila is actually uh, one of her his friend. Her friend okay. love to call her Laila. 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 Why? It's like kampung people. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. We are going with Laila. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laila. The verse is Laila mm -hmm. wears a red dress. Okay. Ah, red dress. Red dress. Okay. okay. Can you give me an example of a, red, a, a dress that you know? A dress, uh, I know a uh, jubah. Yeah, yes, jubah. Right, is that a dress? Yeah, because okay. it's one piece. One piece and also covers the leg. Yeah. Okay, and also I know a very nice, glamorous dress you wear to dates. <laughs> ah. Right, DJ? Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, and correct. And what else is there for dresses? Evening dress. Oh, evening dress. Evening dress. Uh -huh. uh, the fabric is more thin. It, it's thin and uh, it's uh, suitable to wear when we are going to beach. I see. Mm -hmm. What about one more teacher? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I usually see my mom wear it like a nightgown. Is mm. that a dress? Yes, a nightgown. Uh -huh. uh, baju kelawa, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, okay. very nice. Okay, right. teacher, mm -hmm. maybe we can move on with Dane. Okay, ah. Dane, the verse is, Dane wears a blue trousers and yellow shirt. Shirt, mm. okay. So, teacher, maybe we can try spell again trousers. Okay, uh -huh. because it uh, looks a bit difficult. Yes, huh? difficult. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's spell together. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the T trousers uh -huh. is T R O U S E R S. Trousers. Ah. Yes, you got it. Okay. 
So to say trousers, you have to say clearly, right, mm, teacher? Trousers. trousers. Okay, and mm. the next one, teacher, the yellow shirt. Can we spell that with the kids out there together? All right. Okay. Okay, ha. Huh? How to spell shirt? Mm -hmm. Okay, we start it now. Okay, S, S H, H I R T. Shirt. Ah, mm. simpler than trousers yes. a bit. Okay, let's uh -huh. repeat again. Okay. Once again, mm -hmm. S H I R T. Shirt. shirt. Okay. Tika, what is yes. the features of shirt? Uh, okay, this is very um, simple for me because mm -hmm. I've said it before just now. <laughs> uh, there's no collar, right, teacher? Oh, oh no, it has a collar. <laughs> wow, I got so confident there. <laughs> right, actually, it's for okay. sure, it has a collar mm -hmm. and it has a button, just like our school uniform yeah. for boys. Yes, you ah. got it right. Okay, okay teacher, I actually have one question mm -hmm. because I see the difference here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a certain outfit for boys and there's a certain outfit for girls. Mm -hmm. So, why do we have to wear the right outfits based on our gender? Mm, uh -huh. Because uh, every gender, mm -hmm. uh, each gender mm -hmm. have their own outfit. Oh. If not, we are get confused. Confused, mm. I see. Okay, teacher, before we move further on our lesson, I hope you kids have taken all the uh, lessons for today and also how to mix and match the outfits yeah. and know how to pronounce the name of the outfit. So we'll be right back on Did It TV KPM. See you then. Welcome back to Lady TV KPM. You're still here with me, learning Bahasa English for special education. And today we're learning clothes we wear, uh, like I'm wearing today. And still with us together in the studio is teacher Lee Sankyat, who is from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur, who is our special interpreter today to help us learn. And with us as well is none other than teacher Shafika, who is teaching us clothes we wear today and for kids out there for our viewers out there i'd like to tell you all that we are without our mask today in the purpose of a teaching special education that means we want the kids out there to learn by reading the movement of the mouth right teacher yeah, you're right and just now we <coughs> learned about how to mix and match and learn the names of the outfits right mm -hmm. teacher so what are we going to do right okay. now okay mm. right now we are going to do a summary for the lesson for today. Ah, okay. For your lesson, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, you got a girl and I got the boy. Boy. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So, who wants to start first? Maybe teacher can start All right. first. Alright, okay, ah. I start first. All okay. Right. The clothes, okay, here the clothes for boys. Boy. Okay, boys got three clothes. The first one is t shirt. Alright, okay, t shirt. Okay, let's follow me. T-shirt. Mm, okay, let's spell T-shirt. Mm -hmm. T S H I R T. T-shirt. T -shirt. Okay. Ah. Mm, the and next. what are the characteristic mm -hmm. of a T-shirt, teacher? Okay. Once again. Ah, the characteristic for T-shirt is there is no collar okay. and there is no button. Buttons. Okay. Mm, the plain one. Okay, uh -huh. the plain. The comfortable one, teacher. Yes, the comfortable one. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, the next one is uh, shirt. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay, shirt. Okay, let's follow me. Say it, shirt. Okay, how to spell shirt? S-H-I-R-T. Shirt. Okay, once again. S-H-I-R-T. 
R T shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. Shirt is usually wear by a boys for their school uniform. Yes. Mm. Ah, so kids at home, maybe you can see your school uniforms is the same characteristic, right, teacher? All right. It has a collar and also a button. Yes. Okay. Got it. All right. Mm. Okay. And the last one is trousers. Okay. Trousers mm -hmm. is seluar panjang. Okay. okay, trousers. Let's spell trousers. T R O U S E R S. Trousers. Okay, the trousers is clothes that hang it on your waist. Okay. Okay, hang it or fasten on your waist mm -hmm. and it cover your leg separately. Okay, teacher. Is it my turn now? Yes, your turn. Okay, kids. So, let's learn the name of the outfits for girl. Okay, the first one, teacher, mm -hmm. is the blouse. Mm -hmm. So, how do you spell blouse, teacher? Can you join me together? Yes, of course. And also, kids out there, let's spell blouse together, alright? So, it's spelled B L O U S E. Blouse. Okay. And also from here, from this picture, teacher, mm -hmm. it looks very, very fashionable. Ah, okay. So for blouse, we can add extra decoration mm -hmm. such as the frills and also belt, right, teacher? Yeah. Okay. And the button. And can you the, see the button. button? And the collar is a bit special. Yes. Okay. It have uh, its own design. Its own design. Mm. Okay. It looks very nice, teacher. And the colour is also nice. Alright. Okay. So, the next one is skirt. Yeah, skirt. Okay, let's spell it together, kids. S-K-I-R-T. Skirt. Ah, there you go. Okay, teacher. Once again, what is the characteristic of a skirt? Alright. Okay, the skirt is actually same like a trousers, but there is no... Uh, a separation. Yes, there is no separate. Okay, ah, it's okay. only hanging on your leg. Leg. Okay, teacher. All right, and the last one, teacher. Let's spell this together. This very nice long dress. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? It's D R E S S dress. Ah, and what's the difference, uh, teacher, from a skirt? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, a dress in one piece from upper to down. Down, okay. Yes, the skirt only cover the down, the ah. downwards, and the blouse only cover the upper. Ah, I ah, see. Upper body. Upper body. Mm. Okay, teacher. All right, I have a question actually. Mm -hmm. Why is it important for us all to wear clean clothes? Mm. Mm. Okay, we have to take care for the hygiene. If not, it will harm your skin. I see. Ah, it will harm your skin. Do you want it? No, I don't. <laughs> I want my skin to be very, very clean mm. and very healthy. Because clean skin, clean hygiene looks very nice, right, yeah. teacher? Okay, right. So, for our summary, teacher, I think you have a question to ask me, right? Mm. Ah, okay. just now. Okay. The question is, mm -hmm. pick up. Yes. Have you decided which clothes that you want to pick? The one that you're buying for me? Of course. Okay, after today's lesson, right, I've learned a lot. So, I think I can decide now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to pick a blouse mm -hmm. and maybe a skirt together. Yeah. So, together, the combination for Raya is called baju kurung? Yes. Ah, okay, teacher. All right. So, now that we've learned a lot, uh, thank you for uh, having uh, been with us in the studio, Cikgu Shafika and also teacher Lee Sankyat as our interpreter for today's special education lesson, teacher. All right. So tune in to that. I'll see you again after this. Thank you for tuning in. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera and bye. Adik, what animal is you? You are an? A? 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 Elephant. Elephant. Yes, elephant. How about the sound? Sound. Ha, buat bunyi. Bunyi macam mana? Ah! Wow. Okay, next. 
Powers. Okay, Powers is a Thai. 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 Tiger. Macam mana punya Tiger? Yeah. Wow. Okay, Aswat. Okay, Aswat. Aswat apa? La. Lion. Okay. Macam mana bunyi Lion?